I have decided to not seek re-election and I'll leave Congress at the end of my term on January 3rd, 2025. Congressman Dan Kildee this morning making a surprise announcement that is sending shockwaves in Flint and will further evolve Michigan's political landscape. Good evening, everybody. I'm Mike Wolfolk. And I'm Stella Daskalakis. Kildee becomes the second high-ranking Michigan Democrat to announce a departure from Capitol Hill when this term ends. He joins Senator Debbie Stabenow. What this could mean for the state is coming up. But here in Flint, Kildee's home base, Reaction has been swift, with some already trying to predict who might try to win the seat. I continue to love public service and the work that I do every day. But Congressman Dan Kildee says there are times when one has to reassess things and change paths. For him, that time came when doctors diagnosed him with cancer. Thankfully, early this year I had successful surgery and I'm cancer free. Since then, he's been consulting with family about the future ultimately deciding it is time to begin a new chapter. And his decision also means a new chapter for Flint and the surrounding district. We've had almost a half a century of the Kildee name being the, uh, the main voice in Congress for this area. Mott Community College political science professor Paul Rosicki among those stunned by the announcement, as is Flint Mayor Sheldon Neely. I'm happy for Dan uh, in this decision, but definitely saddened that we have to uh, you know, lose a great champion uh, on the battlefield as an elected leader. Dan Kildee is now halfway through his sixth term. Voters first sending him to Capitol Hill in 2013 to succeed his uncle, Dale Kildee. With Dan now stepping aside, speculation is already starting about who might run to succeed him. We have to fill that space and that position with a true champion that has that like-minded uh, movement moving forward, and, and um, I have that. Neely telling us he will form an exploratory committee and seriously consider a run. Paul Rosicki mentioned two other potential candidates. I wonder if Sheriff Swanson would take a look at that. I know he's worked with Kildee a lot in, in recent years. And he can see State Senator John Cherry possibly running. We've reached out to both. No response yet from either. In the meantime, Dan Kildee says he looks forward to finishing out his term with the same passion and drive to help the district. And he makes clear, this is not the last you will hear from him. While I'm stepping back from elected office at the end of my term, I am most definitely not retiring. Just turning down a new road. Well, when he leaves Congress a little over a year from now, Kildee will have been in public office for nearly 50 years of his 65 years. Kildee was first elected to the Flint Board of Education when he was just 18 and subsequently served 12 years on the Genesee County Board of Commissioners and 16 years as county treasurer before going off to Congress.